two down, one to go. 15 minutes into that one, 10 minutes into that one, although I do need to do carb work. Now, I'm just going to have to check the usual bowl stuff with the carb here on this one and see where we're going to go. And this is what you call a deep deck you know, motor setup. And that one's a bit of a pain in the anus to get the nut off the bottom of the bowl. Not much room to swing the wrench. Sometimes you have to completely remove the manifold and turn the carburetor sideways. Oh well, nothing's easy. Well, I guess not. That one is. Turned out I had to pull the whole carb off. Just got to make sure I don't pull on the governor linkages too hard and screw up the speed mechanism on this thing. So now I can get at the nut at the bottom. Now this one has the most common problem. I don't know if you can see that, but I can. There's about a teaspoon of water in the bottom there. And that will prevent it from running or start dying out while you're cutting the grass off and on. There, you can see the little blobs of water on top of the gas. But the grass looks pretty clean. The grass doesn't smell too great. I'm letting it all drain out right now. The jet looks really clean. This must have been running last year. It's May 5th today. Carbs back on. Throttle's not stuck. Check the plug. Huh, that's a good one too. I wonder if this is telling the truth. Let's see what's going to happen. She's gassed up and ready for takeoff. It's hard to flood these print a lot more even if you push it too many times. I think I'm going to go garbage picking again tonight because the neighborhood beside me it's garbage day.